Listen, here's the thing. Sir Keir Starmer, ever since last Thursday night, has been crowing about the fact that the Labour Party is now the officially biggest party in local government. And he's probably got a point. He's probably right. Uh, the Tories lost about 1,000-plus seats, and it wasn't a great night for them. However, one of the reasons that people didn't vote for the Tories is because they're not doing a job very well. If they start doing the job better, that could be good. The biggest problem facing us as a nation, though, is wokery, right? The woke have got to grips with all manner of things, including, of course, organisations like Just Stop Oil, organisations like Extinction Rebellion, organisations like the teaching unions, like the RMT, um, like ASLEF, like all these unions who are going out on strike. The NHS is riddled with wokery. The NHS is full of people um, who want to make sure that the ward is very diverse, who want to make sure that there's a net zero coordinator every time you turn a corner, who want to make sure that you don't reuse things if you have to throw them away. We've got woke issues all over the civil service. We've got people having their pronouns attached to their emails, right? We've got people who can't tell you what a woman is. And one of those people is Sir Keir Starmer, the leader of the Labour Party. This is a man who basically said that he couldn't discuss what a woman was for the longest time. This is a guy who wasn't sure what a woman was for the longest time. And then finally he came out with his truth. I mean, his truth is that Nearly all women don't have a penis, but some do. That was basically what he said. According to him, there's about 30,000 women in this country that have a penis. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't really want a man who can't tell what a woman is running the country. I don't really want a man who runs in a party that's never had a woman leader even running the country. But guess what he's going to say this week, Sir Keir Starmer? He's going to come out and basically say that woke issues don't matter to the public. He's going to say the public only cares about the NHS and only cares about the cost of living. Well, of course people care about those things, but they do care about other things as well. And they do care about woke issues. They do care about women-only spaces. They do care about women having rights which are not being taken away from them by other people claiming to be women. They do care about their children being taught in schools that there are 72 genders. They do care that the reason you paid so much for your electricity is because you're having to pay some woke net zero tax in order to make sure that somebody who's running a renewable energy company can make his first million. They do care that cars that are powered by petrol and diesel are being phased out inside the next seven years. They do care that their cities are being completely and utterly ripped apart in order to put in cycling lanes so that everybody's healthier. They do care that people are coming to this country illegally, but because of the wokists, it's all fine. Don't worry, we can just put them in a hotel, that's all right, nobody cares. Well, people do care, and this is why Sir Keir Starmer is getting it so wrong. Because he may not care about what a woman is, but women do, and so do men. He may not care exactly why you can't eat certain things, because it's cruel. But people who eat those things want to be able to. We live in a free country, supposedly. We don't want people gluing themselves to the road because they're wokists, because they want us to stop driving. It's nothing to do with them. We don't want people making a mockery of our traditions just because it's too woke. We're not going to pay reparations to anybody because of something that happened hundreds of years ago, no matter what King Charles says. We're not going to do it. So the king of the woke who is, of course, Sir Keir Starmer, is wrong when he says we don't care, because we do.